Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to continue the discussion on the mock services within Postman. And let's quickly understand how you are going to create the mock service within Postman. Okay. So in order to see the option for the mock service, simply you have to go to the configure workspace sidebar. Okay. And you will see different options, right? So at the moment, the collections is enabled, environments is enabled and the history is enabled, right? But then there are options for the mock server, the flows, etc. So in order to enable mock server, right? Or have it visible here you just need to toggle this button here okay and you will see mock server is enabled now so let me close this and now if you go to mock server now here you will see that mock servers let you simulate endpoints and their corresponding responses in collection without actually setting up the backend right which is what we understood in the previous video so it will help you to simulate the exact endpoints for example successful login with with successful login what should be the response okay so I'll put a particular username and password and I'll say this, this is the successful, this should return success response and return me success response and a message in the response. Okay. As a JSON format or whatever that I'll go ahead and define. If I define a username and password for unsuccessful response, I'll define that in the mock server that for this user return that login has been unsuccessful. And then I'll check how that message gets displayed on the UI. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and create a mock server. Simply you have to click on the create mock server. Okay, and as soon as you will see, you'll open the create mock server, you'll see that you have the option select collection to mock, right? You can create a new collection or you can have an existing collection. All right, so what I'll do is I'll start with the new collection first, right? I won't select the existing one. Okay, I'll select or go ahead with the new collection. And then you will basically here you have to set up the request that you want to mock and the method you will see all the methods are available here that you can basically go ahead and mock. Okay, so here you can simply go ahead and say for example, there is a request method get okay or say for example, there is a request method post which will post the username and password and all of those details right. So depending on what your requirement is, you can go ahead and set up the details or basically the request URL and what response code you are expecting in that particular case and what is the response body you are expecting. All right. So say for example, here you just say, you know, in, in this particular case, the path is when I hit a endpoint success. Okay. Then the response should be user logged in success. Okay. If say for example, and let me change it to and if I have another endpoint, I'll say failure. Okay. And then the response code should be 401. Okay. Unauthorized. And I'll say invalid username and password. Okay. Just very quickly these. All right. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and say, I'll go ahead next. And then here you can provide the mock server name. Okay. So I'll say this is CV Academy. Okay. And then I'll choose no environment as of now. Okay. And then there is an option save the mock server URL as the new environment variable. This will create a new environment containing the URL. Okay. So if I simply check this, it will create a new environment for the mock server. Okay. Then you have the option simulate a fixed network delay. So I'll just keep it as is. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and click on create mocks and you will see that the mock server got created. All right. You will see that call the mock server. You simply have to send a request to the following mock server URL. All right. Followed by the request path, whatever request path we have set up, we simply have to send that request to this particular mock server. Right now, previously, if you see here, we, how we were testing the get projects, for example. So if we go to the get projects, we were having the host name, right? This is the server and this is the endpoint which we were hitting to get the project details, right? Now, if this real endpoint is not available, okay, I can set up the mock service that will return the exact same response that that this real server was, server was returning, right? That's the benefit of having the mock server. So at least I can test other scenarios in the get projects, right? So that's what we have done now. So now we have set up a mock server, right? And if you see the drop down here, the environment should be available here, right? So you'll see the RCV Academy environment is available, which will, which will have the URL. Okay. So the, the environment is there. So let me change it. And now I have also copied. So if I go to the mock servers here, you will see this server is created and this is the endpoint wherein I can send the request. So if I copy this, 
and I go to the collection, I'll create a new collection, right? So I'll say new and I'll say new collection and I'll rename it as mock test, okay? And then I'll add a request. So the request that I had set up in the mock server was post. So I'll change it to post and then I'll paste the URL, right? So this was the URL for the mock server. And then I had to follow this with the endpoint that I had set up, right? So I had set up the endpoint as success and failure, right? So if I'll hit this success, I should get the message that I have set up for the success response, right? So if I simply go ahead and send this, I should be able to see the user logged in successfully, right? And 200, okay. If I say, okay, failure, then I should be saying seeing 401 unauthorized and invalid username and password, okay? Now what the tester will do is they will basically go ahead and set up the mock server, okay? If you have to test more edge cases, scenarios, for example, every possible detail that you want to test, for example, the edge cases, invalid username, password, or the service is down, what should be the behavior of the system? In that particular case, what you will do is you will create a mock service and then you will set up the exact response that is expected okay whether it's you know this is currently just a pretty formatted but if you want to expect a json response right so you can set up the response as a json and i'll explain that as well in a moment but then that endpoint when you'll hit the mock endpoint it will return you the exact message that you have set up okay the exact response that you have set up in the mock server and that will help you to proceed with the edge scenarios and edge cases because it's not possible to bring down each and every service to test every possible scenario or edge case that might be possible when your development or testing activity is going right now coming back to this example you will see that now this particular in terms of development how it will be helpful this endpoint will be used and implemented in the ui by the ui developer and they'll be able to implement it and once a successful username and password is passed it will return the success message and that can be validated or verified on the ui okay and then if it is a failure then that error message should be displayed on the ui as well that exactly how the layout and look and feel is displayed right so multiple options this is just very basic and minimum uh, benefits that i am talking about and how you're going to set up the mock services within postman right so this is brief about setting up the mock server okay very basic mock server and then setting up the relevant response that you are looking for and how you are going to hit the endpoint when the once the mock server is created and see the relevant response in the next video i'll dig a little deeper into the mock services and getting the different types of response from the mock server now one last thing is that this mock service within postman is a paid feature in the free account you will get up to some extent right some uh, service or some request you can do but if you want a full-fledged feature then it will be a premium feature okay but still in the free account it gives a decent amount of mock service that you can basically set up okay so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching